Hi everybody, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Devil and I are going gathering today, or today, it's not tonight, this evening. Sun's still shining, we still have a couple more hours of daylight and we are going cranberry picking to make sure that we have enough cranberries for the winter. It's gonna take us a couple of weeks to grab it all. Look guys, my son, my son, my grandson got me flowers. Aren't they pretty? It's smell-o-vision again. <sighs> Don't they smell good? Mm, yeah, they're all right. But, yeah, we're going cranberry picking. We're going to take you along cranberry picking. And uh, we're going down in the woods or the forest. I grew up in the south, and I think I'll always say the woods. I don't think, I don't know what other people call it. It's just the woods. These woods over, we're going over there to that side. And those woods caught fire with the help of some kids playing with matches and lighters a couple years ago. And luckily, the wind was blowing the other way because I lived that side. And if the wind was blowing that way, my house would have been gone. So, we are headed down here, down a very bumpy, 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 bumpy dirt road to go pick cranberries. Ugh. There's a whole bunch of cranberries right I see the bushes. There were tons and tons of berries here uh, earlier this week. Well, we should have taken all that stuff out so we could cut some stuff for the, some limbs for the goats. Oh, well. I see bushes, but the berries are further down. We used to be able to get some big, huge ones over here, but um, it's all overgrown now, so we have to go a little bit further down. Not too much further, but a little bit further down. So... Do you guys pick your own cranberries or do you buy them from the grocery store? I haven't bought cranberries from a grocery store in years. Have you ever seen me buy cranberries at the grocery I store? I haven't seen cranberries in the grocery store. <laughs> you haven't seen them in the grocery store. Oh, kids. It's always blueberries or raspberries. Yeah, blackberries. blueberries. Blackberries. I won't. I grew up eating blackberries out of my backyard. I can't afford to buy uh, a handful of berries for seven bucks. I just can't see doing that. All right, I forgot my. Oh, did you get them? Oh, no. All right, I have my little buckets. Sorry for that close-up of my my third or fourth chin. I'm not sure which one it was. But we're going berry picking. I lost Devil. The blueberries are all gone. It's normally blueberry season about now, but we've had an early fall, so we're going cranberry picking. When was the first frost? Do what? When was the frost? The frost was a couple of weeks ago actually. But alrighty, so I'll show you some of our berries. Uh, what they look like on the ground. And then we'll pick some and then we'll be back. Alrighty, so 
here's a here's some or at least one good blue or cranberry a couple of them and yes we're, we're picking by hand and here's a couple more so there's some cranberries and yes we do harvest them ourselves um it's free out here so if it's free um that's oops that's how we get them we like free stuff here and they're free in the forest Mom. what sweetheart I think I on poop. You, you stepped on poop now that looks like mud unless it's no that's mud i think yeah thank goodness worst case scenario would have been bear scat and i don't feel like being food for a bear today okay here's a whole bunch of them right there some big some small there's some more back there let's see right back there we're gonna start with the ones that are closer first all right, we'll be back. Because these were filled with berries. Skeeters are in my face. I'm trying to find the darker ones. Okay, guys, we're done right now with berry picking. I collected these for my friend Brandy because she's going to make some pumpkin cranberry bread for me. But as you can see here, look at those beautiful cranberries waiting for me to come back to pick them. All righty. Look at those beautiful. I'm just going to have to grab these right here. They're too beautiful not to grab. All righty. So, here is my cranberry picking place. It's a secret place. We all have our cranberry and blueberry spots that we don't ever tell anybody about. And this is my cranberry and my blueberry place. And my rose hips. I try to collect enough rose hips. And here's one right here. There's a couple of them, rose hips, to dry for the goats in the winter time. They're full of vitamin C, and the goats like them. But we are cranberry picking. And look at there. There's some gorgeous ones right there. Okay. We are out of here. 
oops, just in case somebody might recognize the road. There's cranberries on this side too. But you guys can see that it's fall. The blueberry bushes have turned. There's some right there. Those little red ones right there are orangey red. Those are the blueberry bushes. And there are no blueberries on them. So, I'm walking back to the truck. I have my blueberries, I mean my cranberries. The mosquitoes are out. They're biting me and it hurts. So, it is time. Oh, look at those pretty cranberries. By the time the snow gets here, we will have roughly about 10 to 15 gallons of cranberries to last us through the winter to next fall. We did not get blueberries this year. Not a very good crop of them, even though we have blueberry bushes everywhere. We do have a rogue bear. I shouldn't say rogue, but we do have a single bear that's been traveling around the area. And he's probably the one that ate my blueberries. That's all right. I'd rather him eat the blueberries than me. Okay, so I'm closing for now. Here's my beautiful Alaska wilderness that will soon be covered in snow. Yep, that's my trail that I want. Alrighty, I'll talk to you later. Out. We're back in the, on the bumpy road. We'll have to go back there and check to see if they have the big berries in there this year. Or if it's all too far overgrown. Okay, Devil and I are back. We got just enough berries for my friend. She's going to make us some um, pumpkin cranberry bread for us to put in the freezer. Oh, we'll go this way. And actually, no, it'll be quicker. It uh, doesn't matter. Sun shining bright in my eyeballs. It's 7 o'clock p.m. Probably have about another two, two hours to go before sunset. It's still pretty late, around nine. Maybe a little bit earlier. I haven't looked recently. But I think it's a couple of days ago, it was like 9.05. So it might be like 8.59 now. We're losing a minute or two of daylight a day. Next month is Autumn Equinox, and December is Winter Solstice, and it will be time for the countdown to spring. Of course, we don't have spring until like late April or sometime in May, but at least it'll be the countdown. I don't know. I like the fall and I like the winter. So, And I like the spring. The summers are hard if it gets over 75 degrees. <coughs> and it is 64 degrees right now. The mosquitoes are out in all their glory trying to eat us. And they got me pretty good. So, we are done with cranberry picking for tonight, 
and we still have a lot more to go. But for this part, we are good to go. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Love ya. Oh, okay, I didn't hit anybody. Woohoo. See ya. Ha, ha, ha.